domestic refrigerator but we understand from domestic refrigerator domestic refrigerator look like a box which is having a door and that's cool our things our fruits and all other things that goes it that's we know about the domestic refrigerator or anything we have in domestic refrigerator so let's start let's let us learn the electrical circuit of domestic refrigerator electric circuit of domestic refrigerator so let me draw a diagram of domestic refrigerator then i will label that diagram and explain its working afterward the electric circuit diagram of domestic refrigerator is very simple and everybody can understand if if they will pay a small attention on it so now i will draw a basic domestic refrigerator diagram now i will label this diagram this is our run winding this is our start winding this is a relay which is having a contact that is normally open and we have ocr that is normally close and see this is door switch we know that door switch is very important that will glow the lamp and there is a source ac now let me explain the working of this diagram so now you can see the source is giving a current or we can say supply the supply is going from here to here to here to here to here now you can see here the door switch if you open a door that means you need light so when you open this door this contact made and your lamp will glow and when you close the door again this contact this switch again operated and your lamp will stop glowing now when whenever you close that time your lamp glow now here the supply is going from here to the here now here is and no so no supply goes to the start winding so it is going through relay to the run run winding and now you can see from run winding to the circuit the electrical circuit completed so this will cause the relay to energize because in starting the motor will draw high current so when the high current is draw the more current is going to the relay and this relay energize and it will make a contact that is normally open it will make a normally close no the current start flowing to the starter winding also and after this the motor start running now after some time we, we know that the motor have starting more current after that it is having less current the motor is running and after that after some time the motor start motor runs the compressor which will reduce the further which will help to reduce the temperature inside after some time the motor Uh, will start dry less current and this will de-energize the relay because the relay required a more current so it will make the contact 
again open and now as you can see it will cut off the starter winding and the motor is running only on the run winding or we can say run winding now the motor is running only on run winding and and start winding is out of function now because the relay does not have sufficient power to operate the contact that is NC contact that give a supply to the start of winding so now here the motor is running on running winding or we can say runner winding we know that when that our motor uh, our refrigerator is not running continuously when its temperature reach it stop automatically so for that we have a thermostatic switch thermostatic switch is a temperature gauge or you can a temperature controller that will open a contact when the temperature reaches so when the temperature inside the refrigerator reduces so it will open that contact then no supply goes to the motor and it will make it normally open contacts and no current is going to the motor or flowing flow in the motors and motor stop and again when this temperature uh, rise up this thermostat make the contact normally close and again motor will stop this is the working of electrical starter of domestic refrigerator hope you like this video if you like this video please don't